Let's see now. Old Musician's Blog, number 75. That's three quarters of the way through to 100, which was my objective when I started this. I thought I would do a test 100 and then see how I felt about it. It's a peculiar thing to want to um, take to uh, doing these blogs. Um, it's a peculiar thing to want to do in a way, because it, it's, I understand it's very personal in a way, uh, and kind of revealing of the person, the way they think and that, and uh, it's a kind of a communication. Um, I just, I, I noticed over on uh, uh, Facebook that one of our uh, uh, band uh, singers uh, has uh, taken to doing a, a blog now. They've done a couple of them. I've listened to a couple of them now. And um, it's, it's interesting. You know, there's a part of you that wants to say a part of me. Maybe there's a part of us. I don't know. Because it is a collective, it's a we, you know, and there's a we kind of dis decision to to r reveal the the, um, the personality in the uh, blog situation, and um, uh, 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 and uh, uh, you know, and you kind of think that you're may you may be the only one doing that that you know or something you maybe know one or two other people but you know actually i think it's a kind of an impulse to um become part of the collective more by uh revealing the workings of oneself into the uh, uh, uh the ether zones of the network and uh it's actually um you know uh, to post this kind of thing over on Facebook where there's a lot of people that you actually know personally and that are going to have, you know, opinion one way or the other, uh, you know, um, is, uh, you know, interesting, you know, uh, for, for a singer, you know, it's kind of like fronting the band that you could, you know, you make it a kind of like a song, you know, and you sing, sing your song, and, you know, even though maybe you're speaking. And a uh, musician, I suppose that's the case too, um, uh, of any form. Uh, 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 but uh, you know, there's that that um, that irony also that um, the uh, success in the social media sphere um, means uh, uh, this uh, quality content thing that you create that other people like enough and that it speaks to them enough so that they want to share it and that's the way um, uh, that uh, one might gain that status of um, next step evolution of uh, digital identity in the uh, network and um, uh, you know and Yet, and while at the same time, when one does that, when one does that, it shapes you into a certain kind of speaking, into a certain kind of post. It's a really, truly a social engineering that I can feel in my own, uh, at least in areas of my own experience on this, um, on the networks. And uh, now that I'm seeing others uh, 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 blogging kind of on the level that I am, you know, for for whatever reason, um, uh, are, are, uh, uh, you know, whether it's to wish you a good morning or a good night, or whether it's to talk about some something or nothing, um, it 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 uh, it is. I don't know what its purpose is. I don't know what its value is. I think that these. Um, these expositions of people's personalities, I think they'll become uh, more valuable as time goes on, and uh, that um, uh, that the, we'll see the purpose reveal itself for having uh, done this. But of course, the the people that um, and the uh, the bloggers of various kinds that will have attained that digital immortality will have been the ones that. Um, others felt uh, uh, valuable enough to watch their 
to watch their posts and to um, uh, reshare them and to send them out um, more and more. Um, uh, and uh, so there again is the irony, the carrot before the before. Well, I don't know if there's a stick, but the carrot before the horse to um, make the uh, galloping run smoother towards um, uh, uh, whatever it is that um, the person uh, is revealing. A at the moment, uh, well, or, or rather during this, for instance, during the Bitcoin climb um, uh, from 700 to 20,000, there was a... Um, uh, I, I'm looking because I, I, I found myself in the sun now. I think I'll move back a few steps. There we go. Um, during that Bitcoin climb, there was a um, huge interest in Bitcoin and blockchain and a lot of um, different kinds of uh, uh, opinions. And people felt that those opinions were very valuable at the time because uh, 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 because uh, of the updraft of interest in the um, in the blockchain technology and the coin uh, and the coins themselves which were uh, you know had brought in uh, speculative people who wanted to uh, um, you know make money you can't really call it investing um, uh, you know you could call it gambling though and and for some it's a method gambling a method of gambling so if you're doing say a volumetric analysis like ernie then you have a certain kind of information that you base your um, your trades and so on on and um uh so but that interest led to a great number of bloggers for that time and it records the way people felt about um, uh, 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 Bitcoin as it, and its rise when that was occurring. So I think those are historically interesting and certainly deserve to pass through the um, blood-brain barrier into the ether zone of immortality uh, on a network uh, info uh, uh, dynamic. Uh, it's colossal. It's humongous. And, um, uh, and yes, and then there's all the others that are just normal people who might have nothing to say. There's, that is valuable too. The information itself and the attention of those who, who give it, they are valuable too. We must value the ordinary and the plentiful. That's where the food is. That's where there's the beef. That's where the beef is. Where's the beef? Right there in the attention.